Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we are looking at the contents of Icons. Women who play to win. Two to five players from Buffalo Games. This is a family card game. And it's ages eight and up, so it should be pretty straightforward. Inside we're going to see 95 cards, including 41 Icon character cards, 30 category cards, 24 action cards, 41 icon token cards and the instructions so since it's aimed to ages eight and up it should be pretty straightforward and easy to play but you never know with these games so let's take a look at our components it's just held together with p two pieces of tape so let's get rid of those real quick and see what these look like all right so we've got our instruction sheet with creepy people no eyeballs that's that's horrifying but the instructions do look colorful easy to read I don't know why these people have no faces but that's gonna give me nightmares later uh, but yeah it looks pretty straightforward it's got an item number on here it's got a list of the cards which is cool we got 41 icon cards one unique U icon 30 category cards, 5 of each kind. The 24 action cards, 4 of each kind it looks like. So number of players is 2 to 5, so it should be pretty straightforward. The box coloring is really nice. That was a nice touch. I didn't have to do that. So let's see what else we got in here. We've got a U token. Well, that's really decent cardboard actually. Please remove tokens from board. No, duh. Uh, nice coloring. Give them co credit for that. It's uh, very colorful. And on the back, it's got a little design. All right, so let's take a look at all these cards. Make sure nothing's hiding under here, like time stories. Okay. Take a look at the three decks and the tokens. A little closer okay so here again we have the U icon so uh, you can be an icon or whatever but the other ones are divided up by color and each color represents a different field so for example this pink color has adventure it says it on the back adventure so we've got various famous people on here Sacagawea Annie Edison Taylor, Jeanette Guthrie, who's not pictured for some reason. Patty McGee. You think they could have drawn that? That seems a bit lazy. But these are pretty decent sized tokens. They measure not quite, uh, about an inch and three quarters. So, nice size. Reminds me of the old. Um, uh, the token game. Uh, I don't remember the name of it now. Of course, it escapes me. All right, next up we have yellow, which is leadership. Then we've got science and innovation is blue. Then we've got human rights, which is green. And finally, purple for the arts. So you'll want to make sure you have all six of each one and there's five colors plus the U token alright let's take a look at our cards Alright, 
We have the see, the icon logo on the back. Same as the cover of the box. Ooh, these are actually pretty nice. These are actually really nice cards. They do have a slight curve to them, but they are really nice quality. Four leadership, science and innovation, the arts, wild. I, I do like the sparkliness of it. Kids will like that. And we've got another human rights, adventure. Another science and innovation, the arts, second wild, human rights, adventure, science and innovation, the arts, wild, human rights, adventure, I think we got a theme here, science and innovation, the arts, and wild. Human rights, adventure. Oh, another adventure. Oh, they mixed it up. Leadership, science innovation, the arts, wild, and finally, human rights. All right, so that's the first deck. Let's get those out of the way. And we'll look at our second deck here. Ahead of your time. Return the favor. Break the barrier. Pay it forward. Share the love. Pass the torch. Ahead of your time. Return the favor. Break the barrier. Pay it forward. Share the love. Pass the torch. Ahead of your time. Show the favor. Break the barrier. Pay it forward. Share the love. Pass the torch. And finally. So that's the second deck. Let's take a look at our third deck. After I spend like five minutes fighting with the plastic. First up, we've got Mother Teresa. Harriet Beecher Stowe. Malala. Susan B. Anthony. You! Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Rosa Parks. Harriet Tubman. And Frank and Edison Taylor, Patty McGee, Janet Guthrie, Valentina, oh, I'm not even trying with that name, uh, Victoria Woodhull, Billie Jean King, Madam C.J. Walker, Queen Elizabeth I. Sacagawea, 
Junko Tebby, Bessie Coleman, Je Janine, Jenny Barrett, Joan of Arc, Gloria Steinem, Princess Diana, Cleopatra, Jane Goodall, Katherine Johnson, Murray Curry, Sally Ride, Marion Mahoney Griffin, Julia Child, Maya Angelou, Josephine Baker, Grace Hopper, Clara Barton, Ada Lovelace, Rosalind Franklin, Lucille Ball, Dorothy Parker, Billie Holiday, and finally Jane Austen. Alright, that's all the cards. Alright, that is what is inside the Icons box set. It's a family card game, 2-5 to five players, ages 8 and up. It looks pretty straightforward. It involves a lot of, obviously, feminist icons. So, it looks like a pretty straightforward game. But the card quality is fantastic. It is absolutely one of the best sets of cards I've seen in a long time. So, I, I saw this game for about 10 bucks. Looks like about the going rate. You can find it cheaper, sometimes more. You know how it goes. But, as far as the price point goes for the quality... It's absolutely worth it. I can't speak to the gameplay, but it looks simple enough. It's aimed at eight-year-olds. So yeah, it looks like a good addition to any feminist game collection. Or um, anybody that wants to teach their kids about women icons. So good conversation starter on that front, I suppose. So and apparently a portion of the proceeds from this go to the American Civil Liberties Union. So yeah, uh, 95 cards, 41 tokens, instructions, not a lot to it. You'll want to make sure all the cards are there, of course. But it looks like a decent little set for quality purposes. I can't speak to the politics of it because I don't care. But yeah, it's from Buffalo. It's not a company I'm super familiar with, but if they do stuff with this high quality, they're definitely somebody to look at for future releases. So we've seen what's in the box. You've heard my take. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links to my Patreon, my Streamlabs, and of course the Teespring store are all in the description. Or just share the video around on your social media. That helps a lot. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.